Hey everybody, welcome to On the Glide Slope. Uh, we're continuing our How to Simulate series. Today we're going to talk about how to simulate a short field landing. A short field landing is pretty much just the same as a normal landing in most respects. You set up for it the same way. Uh, uh, but the key thing is you want to come in and land right on the numbers if possible. Uh, stick that landing. And then uh, hit the brakes and retract the flaps, uh, being careful to take some pressure off the front nose wheel so you don't crunch it. But we want to hit relatively firmly rather than gliding or floating over the airfield, and we want to try to stop fast. If we're coming in over an obstacle, our approach needs to be steeper than the normal glide slope, uh, but today we'll probably just be um, doing a normal uh, short field landing. We are at Billy Chinook State Park in Oregon, which is 5S5 on the charts, and we're in the Piper um, Warrior 2 today. This is about right to make our turn onto downwind. So, uh, normal in every respect in terms of up to the, your landing point, uh, but rather than trying to land in the landing zone, you're really trying to hit it at the edge of the threshold, and again, you're going to try to put it down firm, hit the brakes, and retract the flaps. So we'll see if we're able to do that today. I haven't checked the wind, so I don't really know what's going that way here, but that's okay. Uh, I would presume that is Lake Billy Chinook out there. Okay, we're a little high for our pattern altitude, so we'll descend a little bit here. There we go. About the right distance for our downwind leg. This field is only 2,500 feet, so it's pretty short, and it has a displaced threshold. Okay, there we go. At the numbers, got our throttle, got fuel pump on, carb heat on, first notch of flaps. Let the airplane slow to about 90 knots. about 45 degrees, so we'll make our base turn. Next notch of flaps. There's the field. Turn on the final. And we want to come in and ride at our final approach speed, which is about 63 knots in this airplane, and the Cessna is going to be a little different. Final flaps. So, a little fast here, about 73, so we need to know, pitch up to slow down. If we're coming in against an over an obstacle, we'd probably be a little high like this. All right, full flaps. Round out the airplane. We went a little long on this one. Firm, brakes. Flaps out. And no throttle. Come on, baby. And we stopped it. I landed a little long on that, but we got in as long as we, as far as we needed to, which is good. And short of the end of the field, which is what we want to do. And uh, if I look at the overhead visual, the aerial map here on ForeFlight, I can see that we stopped just about where we should have. And if I look at the numbers, we stopped in about uh, 1,300 feet. So that's pretty good. Uh, we stopped in about 1,300 feet, which is solid. So 
grass field that would probably be even shorter because we'd have more friction. And again, I came in a little long from the numbers, but that's the general idea. So I hope you try this in your own sim. Again, so what you're trying to do is you're trying to put it as close to the threshold as you can. You want to uh, then kill the throttle, pull the flaps, stand on the brakes without flat spotting them, and uh, stop the airplane. So there you go, how to simulate a short field landing. Next will be how to simulate a soft field landing, which we'll do over turf, and that is similar to this, other than the fact that you want to actually kind of fly over the runway a little bit without floating, but touch down really soft, because again, if it's a soft field, you don't want to tie up the wheels in the mud or the grass or the whatever it is that you're putting the airplane down into. If you have questions or comments, I'm always eager to hear them. You can uh, get me either in the comments on YouTube or uh, at the blog www.ontheglideslope.net. And uh, thanks again for watching. And if you haven't noticed, new avionics. Uh, I've kind of got a patch in terms of the panel form right now. I'll be re rebuilding the whole panel in the next uh, couple of weeks. But uh, these are the Bendex King stack from uh, Flight Illusion. And they work really well. I dig them. Transponder. Autopilot which we won't turn on right now, obviously, DME, and then a comms panel. So, pretty cool. All right, everybody, thanks for watching on the Glide Slope, and we will uh, see you again soon.